Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond, and I want to show you how we can plant the rain and plant stormwater in street-side water harvesting eddy basins to grow abundance that can shade, cool, and feed us for free. And I think it's a great alternative to water flowing in the street. Hey, we just got uh, an intense half-inch rainstorm, and uh, this is First Street which is also a wash that was paved over. So it's also known as First River. Um, so uh, water's flowing down the curb and we are capturing a lot of this water in this sweet street side eddy basin, which I'll show you more of in a sec. But I think it's a way better alternative to all this flooding in the street. <laughs> okay, so let's turn it back around got water flowing down the street gutter and there used to be years ago there used to be a driveway going into the backyard so the curb dips down now uh, as part of the neighborhood foresters effort we did working with neighbors uh, to harvest the rain and grow abundance um, we shortened the dip in the curb um, and but there's still substantial inlet low point so as water, you can see a lot of water is flowing by the basin, but that's because it's already filled up. So it, basically water spills in because the basin's lower than the street, fills this whole thing up. And once it's filled, water backs up on itself. The surplus goes down the street, which could be captured in the next basin. Now this installation is unique because when we did the install, Water was already flowing on this side, uh, the yard side of the street curb, um, but it was eroding down. There was so much flow. So we've actually helped check that erosion. Um, I'll edit in some photos of this uh, without water, but we basically created a um, grade stabilization rock mulch rundown, um, which is keeping the soil from eroding down under the gas line. You can see there's some yellow whiskers there uh, signifying the gas line underground. But we don't want to divert this water um, off along this route. This is great because all this water is freely irrigating the root zone of all these eucalyptus trees. And down at the very end, you can't really see with the glare of the sun, but there's another grade control structure of the street curb going around the corner. So nothing's gonna erode down below that level. Um, so the wonderful thing is, since this street gets a lot of water in the rainy season, we've been able to bring back some riparian vegetation. It's still very young. This is only, um, I think it's only a year, two years at most old. Um, but what we've got is some giant sacatone grass, which has edible seed. And uh, when the Spanish explorers first came through here, they had all these wild accounts that the grass was so high, it tickled the underbelly of their horses as they walked through it. Well, it was this grass, okay? And uh, we lost that grass for the most part from the Tucson Basin when we over pumped our groundwater and killed the river and killed the Sienegas and the high water table that used to support these grasses. But in these street side water harvesting basins, we're able to support them again. Once they're established, year gate for a year, then they're established, you don't have to water them anymore. So they can be freely irrigated just by the street runoff. Along with that, we've got a canyon hackberry tree. This will eventually grow to be 30 feet tall and wide and has edible sweet berries or fruits. Um, next to that is a seep willow. It's a wonderful fragrant plant, incredible for beneficial insects like uh, beneficial pollinators, butterflies, um, predatory wasps that you know go after your hornworms on your tomato plants. So great plant and this will get um, yeah, 12 feet tall and uh, six feet wide. Uh, and we've got another uh, giant sacatone. And then in the upland, 
above all this, above another grade control structure, we've got a lot of other native grasses, some fairy duster and whatnot. Because in a really big storm event, the water tops the driveway apron there, flows like sheet flow through here. This used to be eroding down, but this grade control structure of another rock mulch rundown, one rock dam hybrid uh, is keeping all that stable. So to get more info on all this stuff, uh, more how-to information, more examples, uh, other water harvesting strategies and other contexts, check out my books, Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond, and my that are available at deep discount direct from me at my website, harvestingrainwater.com, and check out neighborhoodforesters.org for some of these sweet neighborhood actions we're, we're doing. Be a part of it. Start a group in your neighborhood. Plant the rain and go abundance.